The arena is in its death throes, according to one cabinet minister. The cargo ship responsible for what's been labeled New Zealand's worst ever environmental disaster is finally sinking. After months of being battered by heavy seas since it ran aground in October, it had split in two over the weekend. Salvage crews did manage to remove hundreds of containers and much of the oil aboard the vessel since it first got stuck on a reef. But floating debris aside, it was clear many containers and some oil remained. Maritime New Zealand said at least one boom has been put into place to try and keep any leaking oil from further fouling key beaches, and a wildlife response center is up and running once again to care for birds that may need rescuing. Volunteers will be out Wednesday looking for birds in trouble, and authorities are contacting people willing to help clean the shoreline as well. As for the ship itself, the bow, piled high with containers, was still afloat but listing badly. The stern went under first, with the bridge entirely submerged. The water around the wreck was dotted with brightly covered buoys, marking containers so they could be more easily recovered later. The transport minister was insisting the wreck will have to be removed completely, but despite bracing for the worst, in the short term, one official was acknowledging authorities don't know exactly what will happen next. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.